Good afternoon. <laughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> I've had a busy day. Well, it's only, I think, one something, I think, one thirty. But I was busy all day. So I started off coming out here and reading a bit and uh, finishing the last uh, coat on my mailbox. I put that out to dry and then um, for nine o'clock I headed out to Pet Value to get some kitty litter. I used up the last kitty litter last night so I bought a whole new bag. That's in my car right now, waiting for my son to carry it into the house. So I've got that done. Then I thought, okay, well, I decided this ahead of time. I decided that I would do the same thing as I have been doing for many years. It's Friday go to the mall. You walk around the mall. You do whatever's necessary or you do nothing. So all I did was buy my lottery tickets. And then I went back to my car. And uh, first I had decided that I would go to my Zares. But then I thought, Listen, you're on EI, you're limited funds. Stop driving around unnecessarily. Ex you know, over unnecessarily. So I went to the Zares, which was right there. One that I don't particularly like. Not as much as my Zares. My Zares is the best one in the whole area. I don't think I've seen a better Zares than the one that uh, my husband and I went to, which is the one that's on the other side of the river at the southeast part of town. But I couldn't justify that, so I went to the one that was right by the mall, which is right where I was, and I picked up things that we needed today. I didn't go shopping, didn't get most of the things on my list, just the things that were necessary because my son-in-law is coming tonight and he's going to help my son um, get the cabinets going. So I needed to buy food for supper tonight. So I got ow, chicken burgers and I got various peppers, I got some potatoes and I figured we'd just barbecue everything and that would do. Um, yesterday we got pizza so I have lunches for a few days. So tonight we're going to, they're going to start setting up the cupboards. Yes, one cupboard is not going to be there. It's going to take two to three weeks to arrive. But my son figured they will do the uppers as far as they can. And then they will move to the base cabinets and deal with the last cupboard when it arrives. So things are moving. Not quickly, because these guys are not quick. They are very methodical. My son, my son-in-law, they don't really have experience. They don't admittedly know what they're doing. 
so they take their time so as not to make mistakes. So sometimes I have to leave because I can't stand how slowly they're taking it. When I come back, they're moving. So that's fine. That's fine. It's very warm today. So it's wonderful walking around the mall because it's super cool in there. But I had nothing to do there. So I got my exercise, walked around the whole mall, did not see anyone that I knew except for the ticket seller. Didn't see anybody at the Zares. Wouldn't be anybody I'd see there anyway because it's not my regular Zares. And then came here, had lunch, had coffee, and uh, yeah, I was in the Zares at the checkout, and there's a sign there saying, if you're, if you're, uh, teller doesn't ask you for this information, then tell her that you're, you deserve a treat. Some sort of, she's supposed to, she was supposed to have asked me whether I wanted to donate something to some certain cause. And she was the most unfriendly um, teller I've met at Zeros ever. Usually they're quite friendly, quite nice. And so I mentioned to her that she hadn't mentioned, she hadn't asked me that question. <laughs> so she gave me a chuckle bar. Uh, yeah, really, lady. You're in a bad mood. You deserve to be in a bad mood. Ah, Tracy is putting up. No, nope, taking down. Putting up a new Canada flag. Taking down her flag. Yeah, I think she's putting up a new Canada flag. Oh, she had a good one up. She had one on her fence. I don't know. Canadians <clears throat> are not generally uh, terribly patriotic. So Canada Day is just about the only time that you'll see a lot of Canadian flags out. But Tracy has that flag on her on her garage roof. She's had it for a while. I don't know what she's doing with it. Took it down anyway. Maybe she's just replacing it. It was getting pretty ratty looking and that's not good. Um, yeah, so um have everything we need. I've got chicken burgers. I've got green, red, and yellow peppers. Maybe an orange one in there too. I've got potatoes, little potatoes. So I'll just wash all that. And that can all get uh, thrown on the barbecue because my son-in-law is coming at around 5.30, so give them supper right away, and then they can do whatever. Ah, there she goes, up with the flag again. It's not her, it's someone else. A friend of hers? Yes, there goes the flag. Okay. I am reading a science fiction novel at the moment. I'm reading a novel, um, kind of cool one. They have been pretty good for, for them, for them all being free books. That's the same truck coming back. Truck rental, Penske truck rental. 
Yeah, for being free books. Ow, my hand's getting stiff. They're they're pretty good. So this one is called a Mind Guard, and it's about people who have the skill to protect other people from uh, attacks, telepathic attacks, I guess. And uh, this one company has a really super skilled guy who runs it, who is both a mind guard and a bodyguard, and his friend who is the most skilled mind guard and there's a, a situation about some packet of information that has to be protected in someone else's mind anyway this is all immaterial since it's boring when you're not reading it yourself I understand that so I'm reading that book at the moment and it's kind of cool kind of interesting Sometimes I run into a free book that is just boring as hell. And sometimes I just abandon them. Ow. Okay, there we go. And I just mark them red. That's fine. That's really nice. Finally, Apple came up with the... What I've been wondering about from the beginning. A way of knowing what you've read and what you haven't read. Really cool way they did it too. So now you, you can see every book that you have on your device, you can see how much of it you've read before you abandoned it. And you can go back to that or you can just mark it as read and then it's marked as read. Anyway, that was nice. So I'm working my way through all of my free books. And I still pick up more free books all the time. Maybe one day I'll actually buy a book. But you know what? For summer reading, as long as I have, as I have something to occupy my mind, I don't care how good it is a lot of the time. Just as long as it's Well, keeps my mind moderately entertained. Okay, so it's Friday. Everyone got watered on Wednesday. It looks like it's going to rain and or storm today. It actually started raining on me on the way home but by the time I got home yeah, that stopped so yeah next thing I can do is uh, put the number on my mailbox and then it's up to my son to figure out how to put it beside the door because that's where I want it beside the door it's super warm which makes it super sticky and super itchy no matter all the exercise I had yesterday with Veronica Get lost, fly. And uh, walking around the mall once today. I'm not going out in that heat. She's not going out in that heat. We're gonna stick around here. And I'm going to keep reading my cheap books. 